Hobart School of Welding Technology presents Training in Gas Tungsten Arc Welding, Pipe and Tubing. Topic number 12, Job Practice. Single V-groove weld, butt joint, horizontal fixed position, 5G, 8-inch diameter schedule 60 steel pipe. Objective, to develop skill to produce quality single V-groove welds on schedule 60 pipe in the 5G horizontal fixed position using the gas tungsten arc process for the root and second bead and the shielded metal arc process to complete the weld. The finished pipe weld should penetrate to form a flat to 1 32nd inch root reinforcement with complete fill into the edges of the joint. The face of the weld should be flat to slightly convex. Material, 8 inch diameter, schedule 60 steel pipe, 6 rings per workpiece. Electrode, 1 8 inch diameter, 2% thoriated tungsten, 3 32nd inch diameter, E7018, and 1 8 inch diameter, E7018. Filler metal. 1 8 inch diameter E70S1B and shielding gas argon welding grade. Equipment. Collet and collet body 1 8 inch diameter nozzle number 6 3 8 inch inside diameter. Protective clothing, gloves and helmet wire brush, wire cutters, pliers, and chipping hammer. Machine settings. Polarity, direct current electrode negative, straight polarity. Amperage setting, 90 to 95 for the root pass and 100 to 110 for the second pass. Gas flow rate, 15 to 20 cubic feet per hour. Tungsten electrode stick out two to three electrode diameters. The workpiece for this job practice is made with six rings forming five weld joints. The first two rings are tack welded with the procedure established in topic four. Each additional ring is added to the workpiece in the same manner and when finished thoroughly wire brush the tack welds and the joint edges to remove contaminants. Secure the workpiece in the 5G position with the axis of the pipe located horizontally and fixed to prevent rotation. In this exercise, the welder starts at the 6 o'clock position and welds uphill to the 12 o'clock position for both halves of the pipe. The 5G position simulates overhead, vertical, and flat position plate welding. Adjust the electrode stick out to produce a 1 16th inch arc length as in topic 11. The pipe should be positioned with the tack wells located at 3, 6, 9, and 12 o'clock. Position yourself comfortably with the torch located about a quarter inch behind the leading edge of the 6 o'clock tack weld. The nozzle of the torch should be resting against the joint bevels and angled back slightly to form a 35 to 45 degree push travel angle. The filler metal is placed in the joint against the edges of the root face and with the end of the rod held tight against the end of the tack weld. Angle the rod about 10 degrees from the joint. The arc should be started behind the tack weld to preheat the tack and provide good fusion between the tack and the weld bead. Start the arc with the scratch technique and travel up the joint with a walking motion. The tip of the electrode should oscillate from side to side to produce a 3 16 inch wide bead and complete fusion into the joint edges. Be sure to crater out and post purge when the arc is broken before the tack weld is reached. When approaching and coming off of tack welds, use the proper tie-in and restart techniques. 
weld from 6 o'clock to 12 o'clock for both halves of the pipe. The finished bead face should be flat to slightly concave with a root reinforcement of from flush with the base metal to 1 16th inch. If the bead face is too wide and undercutting occurs, use less side to side motion with the torch or reduce the welding current. Should internal concavity occur, slightly reduce the welding current or increase the travel speed. Now this problem is most common in the overhead portion of the pipe due to the force of gravity. When the root pass is complete, thoroughly wire brush the bead before depositing the next pass. For the second pass, increase the amperage setting to a range of 100 to 110 amps. The torch and filler rod angles are the same as for the root pass, except that the torch travel angle should be increased slightly to allow for the deposited weld metal. Deposit the second weld bead using the walking motion that was used for the root pass. Increase the side to side motion of the torch to ensure fusion into both bevel joint edges. Keep the filler rod positioned in the center of the root bead to produce equal joint fill and observe the proper restart and tie-in techniques. Weld from 6 to 12 o'clock for both halves of the pipe. The second weld bead should be flat to slightly concave with smooth edges and no undercut. The remainder of the joint will be filled using the shielded metal arc welding process. Before welding, the equipment must be readjusted properly. First, shut off the argon gas supply by closing the cylinder valve. Then, bleed off the gas from the flow meter. Remove the torch electrode lead from the power source and replace it with an electrode lead and electrode holder. The electrode lead may be attached to the power source by using a nut and bolt, or a quick disconnect system can be used depending on the type of equipment. The proper machine settings for the shielded metal arc process are polarity, direct current electrode positive, reverse polarity, amperage settings, 85 to 110 for the 3 32nd inch E7018 and 110 to 125 for the 1 8th inch diameter E7018. The 3 32nd inch diameter E7018 will be used to deposit the first fill pass. Position the electrode at the 6 o'clock position for welding to 12 o'clock. Use a 90 degree work angle and a 5 to 10 degree drag travel angle from 6 o'clock to the 4 o'clock position. At 4 o'clock, the travel angle becomes a 5 to 10 degree push with the electrode pointed in the direction of travel. And at the 2 o'clock position, the travel angle changes back to a 5 to 10 degree drag angle. Start the arc at 6 o'clock and move up the joint with a Z weaving motion. Pause with the electrode centered over the edge of the previous weld bead. The face should be flat to slightly convex with no undercut. The remainder of the joint will be filled with a 1 8 inch diameter electrode. Reset the amperage 110 to 125 amps. Two more fill passes will be required in order to fill the joint to within 1 16th inch of the outside pipe surface. The electrode angles and welding technique are the same as for the previous fill pass. The travel speed and length of the pause should be monitored carefully as they will affect the bead result. Traveling too slowly or making too long a pause at the edges will produce a large puddle which is difficult to control. This can cause the weld metal to droop.
traveling too rapidly or making too short a pause at the edges may result in a highly convex bead with undercut. The cover pass is deposited with the same technique used for the fill passes. Weld from 6 to 12 o'clock with a Z weaving motion. Pause at the tow line of the previous fill pass and melt 1 16th inch of the beveled edge. The finished weld should have a flat to slightly convex face with a maximum of 1 8th inch face reinforcement. The weld should fully penetrate the joint to form a flush to 1 16th inch root reinforcement. Inspect the weld and then continue practice.